Hi, Tom here from thekiteboardingcoach.com. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. It's all about why you should keep your kite up in the sky when you're in the waves and how to keep your kite up in the sky. Um, check out the, the description below for some links to some useful stuff. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. So the concept is, if you crash, fall off your board, and you're in the waves, you really want to keep your kite up in the sky and you don't want to get rolled over by the wave so you crash your kite in the waves. That's probably the worst thing that could happen. And to do that, we need to consciously fly our kite as we crash. This is a typical crash on a wave and the rider here gets rolled over by the wave. You can see there, he's got no idea which way's up, which way's down, clutches at the kite, pulls on it, crashes the kite, could have exploded it, he's kites down in the, in the waves, not a good situation to be in. Whereas here, the exact opposite, he's crashed and it's no big deal. So he's flown his kite towards the wave, if you look here, two hands on the bar and he pulls on the left hand side to go back into the wave and he's, uh, he's saved the day. So just to go back and show you that in slow motion. Now this is a clip from the, the movie Walls of Liquid uh, by North, which is an amazing movie. Check it out. I'll put the link below. So here, I really must stress that you don't need to do a kite loop. You can see here how aggressive he's pulling that bar. He's doing, a, I believe, a down loop actually to get through, but you don't have to do that. Um, I imagine Sebastian's on a reef and he really must uh, get through that wave and not get smashed onto that reef. So this is the technique that he's using. Um, so what would happen, let me get my red pen out. So 12 o'clock is up here, that's 12, and we've got uh, nine o'clock over here and three o'clock over there. So if we have our kite going this way in front of the wave, then what can happen is the wave can pick you up and roll you over. And even if it doesn't roll you over, you can travel faster than your kite and your lines can go slack. If you have your kite at 12 o'clock up here, then you've got a slightly better chance of keeping your kite in the sky, but there's a good chance it's gonna roll your body over in which case you're going to lose sight of where you are, you're getting washed by the washing machine, and then you're really in trouble because then, you, in fact, in that situation, if that does happen, it's actually better to let go and hope that your kite stays at 12 rather than hold on. But to avoid all of that, you can fly your kite towards the wave, this way. And you don't have to do a kite loop, just flying the kite towards there will help you to pop through the wave. Let's watch. Sebastian go through that wave now. Keeps pulling through the wave. It sounds extreme. It's actually, the technique is actually not so bad. Um, in fact, it's better than, much better than being washed by the wave. And there's a few other examples I can show you now. So Peter here goes for the turn, a bit too late. But as he falls off his board, just check that out. He's immediately uh, put his hand on the bar and pulled the kite back to 12 o'clock and then back to 11 o'clock and simply just flies through the air, has some fun at the same time, no big deal, gets his board, goes back out. Really easy concept to get, uh, to get hold of. Um, nice top turn again from Peter. So this is a typical crash. He's done really well. He's got the kite in the right place. It's in front of the wave, as you can see. He's slowing himself down by pushing on his back foot. And then unfortunately, his front of his board catches. And in spectacular style, he's done a Superman, <laughs> goes through the air. This is uh, very cool. Takes it to the face. Um, but because he knows what he's doing, he's flown his kite to the left-hand side and gets pulled through the waves, no big deal. Just a, a bit of a slap in the face, and you can see Peter emerging victorious there, almost a little bit like a sea monster, sorry Peter, and uh, and wins the day. Same as Mowgli here, down in the waves, pretty bad, but pulls to the left, pops up on the other side of the wave, excellent. This is actually, uh, I think this is Machu or Ayrton, they were filming the Packers Mayo while we were there, and he's, yeah, just riding that wave in, and he gets one turn wrong, and as he goes into the water, 
flies the kite to the left of the wave, back into the wave, no biggie. Even he pushes his bar away just to stop him getting pulled too far away from his board. Same again here, pulling that bar to the left, going back into the wave, nice and easy. One thing here I just want to show you is this is what not to do. We really don't want to fly our kite that low to the water, especially in the waves because then there's a good chance that you're riding along and your kite stops, you lose tension or a wave hits it and then the kite is down in the water. So we really want to keep, Peter's been very lucky here, this is in Peru and you can see on the beach it's not a good place to get washed up. So yeah, he's been lucky there, got his kite back up. And yeah, the uh, this is me actually and just as I fall off, yeah, so both hands go back on the on the bar. So yeah, I hope that video has been of value to you today. Um, try to make sure that number one goal for safety in the waves is to keep your kite up. Uh, watch the other videos I've made. There's a few good ones to stop this happening. And, uh, and if that does happen, then you've just got to focus on flying your kite. Put two hands on there and try to keep that kite um, in the air, but flying towards the wave, pop through it, great fun. Um, yeah, so if you've got any questions, please feel free to comment or uh, get in contact. Um, check out the descriptions below for some really useful links to loads of stuff that I think you'll really like. And uh, come on a trip. I'm doing Portugal this year, doing some wave kite surfing coaching and some freestyle coaching, traveling, uh, doing loads of downwinders up and down the north of Portugal. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, get in contact. Thanks for watching. See you on the water.